Welcome to this episode of Locked In Favorite Fridays. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you my favorite go-to pump that I use for both my road and gravel setups. So if you wanna see what pump this is and how I like to carry it, please stay tuned. So a little background, I wanted to find a pump that worked both for my gravel setup, which are my 650 by 2.2s, as well as my road setup, which is a 700 by 32. So I did need a high volume tire for my gravel setup. And honestly, for my road setup, I don't usually go above 60 PSI. So I didn't really need a high pressure pump. And I think I found a great solution that is it's pretty lightweight, it's pretty minimal, and works really, really well. This is the Lazine HV Drive in the small size. You can obviously see it's anodized purple like everything else on my bike. And I coupled this with the original free range pump holder and I really like this entire setup and I'll let you know why in a little bit. First, let's bust into the pump. Now, this is the small size version. They do make a medium. So obviously that's gonna pump your higher volume tires faster. But honestly, I've had a lot of great experience with this. It pumps very quickly. The pump doesn't get too hot after using it a lot because some pumps do that, especially in the smaller size. But this actually worked well. I've been able to pump up a tire all the way basically up to a road pressure in my 650s. So something around 40 to 45 pretty quickly after dropping it down to maybe let's say the low to mid 20s when riding a gravel section and then wanting to take the trail back home or the streets so that it's not as slow or sluggish of a ride and I wanna pump the tires back up. This has been a great solution for that. I really do like the Lazine pumps because it does have the flexible ABS hose so you're less likely to damage your valve stem and you can get this to work with both Schrader and Presta so no matter what style of system you're running, this will work well with. All you simply do is screw in the appropriate side that works for you like so, give it a good little snug turn here and obviously you're gonna have the side that you wanna plug into, which is gonna be Presta in my case at all times. And then you're gonna screw this into your valve stem. Now I know there are different systems and some people love and hate this or have had their valve cores removed when actually screwing into this, when they back it out and then all the air comes out. I personally haven't had that happen to me yet in all the times I've used it, but I would definitely recommend to make sure that your valve cores are nice and snug using a tool before going out riding so that that doesn't happen. And realistically, you don't need to snug this down super, super firm. You just need to get it a little bit over finger tight and I've never had any air leaks using it that way. But it's definitely something you wanna be concerned about because of this style and it's not a locking style air chuck system. It is just a screw on style. Now let's get into how I carry it. Now this is gonna be provided with a standard mount that is gonna mount on your bottle cage like pretty much every other pump is gonna come with. But I really like this outside free range mount and I'll have links for this in the description below as well. They provided me a handful of straps and different ways to carry items on your bike and I'm gonna be doing a full review so make sure to turn notifications on to basically find out how you can strap pretty much anything to your bike. So the beauty of this is when I don't need to bring the pump with me for depending on the style of ride I'm doing, it's a nice clean look that's on my bike and there's not just a random empty mount holder on there. Aesthetically, I really like that. As well as, this actually gives you a little bit of extra grip grabbing onto the neoprene. So I actually like using it and it quickly mounts with their shock cord. And you can see here, it's got a really easy hook and loop. And then just a little adjustment section that you squeeze and simply pull tight if you need to take up any excess slack. So I really like this complete system. Keeps it nice and lightweight. And honestly, if I just threw this in my pocket, I don't mind having the straps on here, but you can easily slide this off of the pump if you did want to take it off as well. So that's a look at my pump system and what I use on the bike. This has been my go-to for again, my road and my gravel setup. And I really would highly recommend it. They do make smaller pumps that I would love to try out. I just don't know if they're gonna go to the volume that I need for my gravel wheels, but they do make a really cool pocket drive that's a lot smaller than this, I'd love to try. But if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do. Links for my Facebook and Instagram are in the description below, as well as a link for my Patreon. If you guys would love to support the channel to help me produce more weekly content for this, I do offer cool perks at the different tier levels for the Patreon. And I am trying to make this a full-time thing. I really love creating content for you guys. So thanks for watching another episode of Locked In.